All right, welcome back. Um, Y'all might be a little out of breath now too. I definitely am, even though I, I look the same, different recording days, whatever. Anyway, so here's the deal. After going through this experiment, we should see that um, your heart rate either recovered the 25 to 30 beats in one minute or it didn't. And um, we're going to be analyzing what that actually means. So this says right here, immediately after exercising, the heart's rate was likely in the upper end of its target heart rate zone. So that's in that like 150, 170 beat per minute range for myself. Excuse me. Um, specifically, one minute after rest started, the heart rate likely rapidly dropped. After that, it likely continued to drop, but much more slowly as it approached its resting rate over the following minutes. So this is saying that that first minute after you finish exercising, your heart rate is going to drop much more than it will in minutes two, three, four, five, et cetera. Um, however, it will continue to drop back down to its resting heart rate. It may have taken about one to seven or more minutes after exercise stopped for the heart to resume its resting rate. Generally, the faster a person's heart rate recovers or reaches its resting rate, the better shape he or she is in. Um, so this is, again, it's a way to measure fitness, but we're measuring this to better learn about the circulatory system. So with that main idea in our heads, thank you. Um, with that main idea in our heads, we're gonna be answering a few questions for the conclusion. So in this chart over here, you're gonna be typing your responses. And as a reminder, I am looking for these to be incomplete sentences. Um, so this first one here says, does your hypothesis match your results? Why or why not? Um, basically, did you correctly predict how fast your heart rate recovers? So for my personal hypothesis, I thought my heart rate would recover in a minute. So my um, heart rate would recover those 25 to 30 beats after one minute. I consider myself someone who is in at least decent shape. So I would, I would expect that to happen. Um, if you don't consider yourself to be in good shape, then maybe it didn't happen. And you, again, can explain, um, my hypothesis matched my results because I'm not in great shape. So my heart rate takes longer to recover or, um, vice versa. So number two, would you consider yourself to be in good cardiovascular shape? Use at least two pieces of evidence you gathered from your experiment to support your answer. So we did two different activities to measure how fast our heart rates recover from exercise. Those are your two pieces of evidence. So if you consider yourself to be in good cardiovascular shape, that means your heart rate dropped 25 to 30 beats after one minute of exercise, then um, you would say, I would consider myself to be in good cardiovascular shape because after the jumping jacks, my heart rate recovered 25 to 30 beats after one minute. And after the plank, my heart rate also recovered 25 to 30 beats after the minute. That's how you're using your evidence to back up whether or not you think you're in good cardiovascular shape. So you can again say it the opposite way if you think you are in poor cardiovascular shape. Again, no judgment. This is just an experiment to better learn about the circulatory system. Um, so number three, explain the negative feedback loop to maintain homeostasis you experienced in this experiment. So um, remember, homeostasis is your body's way of keeping a certain set point. So your resting heart rate is your body's homeostasis for your heart rate. So my homeostasis heart rate is about 60 beats per minute. Um, and basically, you need to explain the feedback loop that your body goes through in order for your heart rate to start at 60 beats per minute, it right, it rises, and then it's going to come back down. So we explain, starting out, the body doesn't require as much oxygen because we are not doing physical activity. When we start doing physical activity, our body needs more oxygen, which means our heart has to beat faster to deliver that oxygen to our cells. After the body is done exercising, the cells no longer need as much oxygen, so the heart can recover or slow down back to its original starting heart rate. That would be your negative feedback loop right there.